Let's face it, no matter who you are, deep inside, we all once wanted to be adventurers. Come on, admit it. Yet the world is a dangerous place, and they won't teach you in school how to survive in extreme situations. Well, today, you finally have this list of survival tips, and nothing can stop you. Well, mostly nothing. Number 1. How to not get struck by lightning Avoid open fields, make sure there's something taller than you around, like your big tall friend there. Oops, just kidding. Trees, buildings, and utility poles will act as lightning rods for you, so never stand close to them. Also, avoid metal and concrete. They both conduct electricity too well for comfort. Remember that a lightning storm lasts only from 30 minutes to an hour, so it's always better to lose time and wait in safety than risk and get zapped. Number 2. How to avoid frostbite Even if you're dressed warmly enough, there are always some parts of your body left exposed to cold weather. A simple can of petroleum jelly will help you with that. Apply it to exposed parts of your skin, and it will protect you from frostbite. But don't rely on it for long periods of time. Seek shelter or fire as fast as you can. Another trick is to let your shoes a bit loose. It will help blood circulation in your feet and will make them warmer. 3. How to find north quickly You need a magnet, a needle, something floaty like foam or straw, and a glass of water. Magnetize a needle by rubbing it against a magnet. Then put two pieces of floaty stuff you have on both sides of the needle. Let it float in the water, and it will eventually stop in one direction. Just like a compass, it will point to the north. 4. How to scare away insects Getting a couple of bites is not that extreme. But trying to find your way in the wilds without getting a good rest is dangerous. You can repel all flies and mosquitoes away by burning herbs. Garlic, rosemary, mint, or thyme, all of these herbs smell will scare away all the pesky insects around. Or you can make a trap. Cut a plastic bottle in half and put sticky tape on its edges. Pour sugar water inside and add some yeast. Mosquitoes will get attracted to it and then trapped on the tape. See? Now you're gonna start carrying yeast with you on your camping trips. Hey, rise and shine! 5. How to find water in the wilderness Don't let yourself go dry. Use dew and collect rainwater. Having a tent with you is good anyways, but try to hang it a bit loosely so it will collect water for you. If there's no such luck as rain, tie a scrolled piece of cloth around your leg and go through the high grass in the morning. It will collect dew that you can squeeze out into a bottle. 6. How to filter dirty water Take two containers, one a bit taller than the other. Fill the tall container with dirty water. Twist a piece of cloth and put one end of it into the filled container, feeding the other into the empty one. It will take some time, but a piece of cloth will soak up all the moisture and transport it from one vessel to the other. Good news is, all the dirt and debris will be lost in the process. Don't forget to boil the water to further assure your safety. 7. How to make fire with steel wool You'll need a 9-volt battery for that. Simply putting both contacts of this battery against a piece of steel wool leads to a small short circuit spark that spreads right away. Put some cotton balls to the plates where the spark appears, and here you go, you've started a fire. Just remember that you need to always keep the fire small and have at least one trusty way to quickly extinguish it. Like your bladder. Hey, it's a twofer! Put out the fire and entertain the other campers. 8. How to make fire with a battery and a gum Well, not the gum itself, but its tinfoil wrapper. First, cut it lengthwise into three parts. Then cut each of them in a bow tie shape with the center about 1 16th of an inch wide. Before proceeding, put on gloves. Tinfoil will burn fast and you need to protect your hands. Place one side of your tinfoil bow tie to the plus contact of the battery and the other to the minus contact. If you prepared some dry grass or firewood, you'll have yourself a campfire in no time. 9. How to make a room heater with a clay pot You need a clay pot, of course candles, a metal rod, and support for them. The support must be able to hold the metal rod vertically. Turn the clay pot upside down and place it on top of the rod so that it hangs in the air. Place some candles around the rod and light them. The heat from the candles will get trapped under the pot. 
it will absorb this heat and radiate it around. This way, even candles would become a useful source of warmth. 10. How to make candles You can use any source of natural fat instead of wax, and you can use a simple paper tissue or toilet paper to make a wick. For example, cut a butter stick in half with wrapping paper still in it. Take one half and make a deep hole in it with a thin stick. Twist a piece of toilet paper into a wick and push it down the hole with the same stick. Wax the wick with butter and light it up. This candle will burn for 4 hours straight. 11. How to escape handcuffs Alright Houdini, I hope you'll never find it useful, but it's always good to know your way out. Use any kind of wire-like material. Even paper clips or hairpins will do the job. Put the end of the wire into the keyhole and bend it at a right angle. Then pull it out a bit and bend it in the other direction. Then stick it into the very edge of the keyhole following all the bends. Move it around a bit and it will eventually open the lock. Trust me! How do I know this? Hmm, that's a good question. 12. How to shake off a rope around your wrists Assuming you don't have anything sharp around and can't use your teeth, you can still free yourself using only your shoelaces. Untie your shoes and make a loop with laces around your left foot. Then pull a shoelace around the rope and tie the end of it to your right foot. Move your legs as if you were riding a bicycle. This way, the shoelace will eventually cut the rope with friction and you'll break free. We won't ask how you got that way in the first place. 13. How to survive a shark attack If you spotted a shark in the water, it doesn't mean it's going to attack. If it passes by in the distance in a straight line, you have all the chances to get calmly away to the beach. Just don't start to panic and move steadily. If the shark is going your way in zigzags, then you know you're in trouble. But you can fight back. The weakest spots on a shark's head are gills and eyes. Most sharks won't try to fight you. They'll just swim away. Hmm, that really bites. 14. How to survive a bear encounter First of all, have some clothes on. No, wait, that's a different spelling of bear. Never mind. Let's talk about the animal kind of bear. First, don't provoke the bear. They naturally don't see humans as their prey if they aren't starving after a long winter's nap. If you run, you're telling them that you are food. Move slowly and always leave an escape route for the bear. Try to make yourself look bigger than you are. Spread your coat wide, stand on your tiptoes, but don't be aggressive. Just make the bear think that it's better for it to go mind its own business. Wow, did you make a camping list? Hmm, now we have to pack yeast, tissue paper, a stick of butter, 9-volt battery, two different sizes of bottles, paper clips to escape handcuffs, petroleum jelly, garlic, rosemary, mint, or thyme, some floaty stuff, and a clay pot. You will also need to hire a Sherpa to haul all that stuff around for you. Have fun, be safe. Hey, if you learned something new today, then give the video a like and share it with a friend. And here are some other cool videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life.